There. How's so that? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you how don't you love how cops come to work? I don't or think leave that's work? The guy, is it? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. That smells. So now that we've spent a good two minutes and eighteen seconds talking to you guys without being hearable. Now you can hear me. So now I'm gonna tell you guys what we're doing today. I am going to do a second layer over this piece because it looks a little bit like um, a spinal cord a little bit. A little. Um, and so I'm going to do a second layer over it, but Oh, Gina, you live next to uh, PD as well. You live next to the headquarters. It's unacceptable the way they drive, right? Early in the morning. And at 6 a.m. Hey, Stacy. Glad to see you, Clara. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And also, we have an announcement. So, stay tuned. Tuned. Tuned, tuned. This smells. You smell. I don't know how you drink that? It smells amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It smells like apple juice. So, uh, we. How? Okay. So we I hit up. Okay. I I I saw a couple pictures on this Instagram account. Um, I knew what the place was. I said, oh my God, I love OEP. And we also have a resin pigment color named after us and Fireball. And the Instagram um, account was for Fireball Dallas. And the lady hit us back saying, oh my God, that's so awesome. And she, I guess, looked at our work, loved our work, loved the idea that we got Fireball named after us for an art pigment, a color. Um, she loved that whole thing, and she loved OEP. So she's going to send us some stuff. An influence PR kit. Influencer PR kit. Not sure what that entails or... What's in there? What's in there, but it's gonna be pretty awesome. The first step of having Fireball as an ATD sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> step one. Step one. Influencer complete. PR. Check. Check. Anyways, now that that has happened, we told her that we would take a what's up, happy to be on board with Fireball commemorative shot commemorative yeah it's commemorative <laughs> like one of those plates on your mom's wall yeah it's like the plates or like the states coins mm -hmm. so with tradition of when somebody's new on the channel or just tradition taking a shot before we get a little creative and it's friday so we thought we'd celebrate with a mini accomplishment with getting Fireball to say our name. They did. They said our name. They said our name for sure. Well, one of the representatives from right. Dallas did. <laughs> I mean, the inventor of Fireball was only like, we'll go pretty do, but soon, yeah. one day. First step's done. Um, Megan sent me some something. Infor some information on a place for us to hold our next class in Bradenton. P.S. By the way, she's gonna find out pricing for me. Minana, super pumped. Minana. Yeah, Minana. All right, here's to some new adventure with Fireball. 
I know we don't drink this all the time, so calm down, everybody. It's we're true. we're adults. Tink. We know when to stop most of the time. It's true. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Fireball Dallas, that's the face you're gonna you wanna <coughs> put on the shirt. Yep. <laughs> that's it. I will put that on a shirt. A One day. Blood. We had Michelle. Yep. Now I gotta go get that food. Mm hmm Well, that'll wake you up. Mm. No, it. Okay, last sip. Y'all, fireball is not bad. It's just any shot, I make that face. It's just I'm the worst shot taker on the earth. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I'm out of here. So we did this piece the other day. And um, I knew it would slump a little bit because it was on a canvas. But it slumped a little bit more than... I would prefer. So it's kind of all like just blobby. Where are you? There you are. There's no real anything. Oh, before I do this, I want to show you guys the geode. Yep. I know. Okay. I'm going to go with the geode real quick. Check it out. Check, check it out. I could not be happier with how this piece turned out, you guys. It is everything. Everything. Like, come on. Come on now. So now we get to peel the back of this big son of a gun. I guess let's do it this way so you guys can see. And let's make that bigger. That's what she said. Okay. Are we gonna? <gasps> okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. This is one reason why I love working with these freeform shapes. See all this gunk, all this nastiness. Um, because our shapes come with this backing that is very much on there and doesn't let any resin leak under it cleanup is so easy all you gotta do is peel this up. oh it did the thing where are you are you here no you're here so pumped okay Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Uh. I don't know if I want to sell them this one. That would be horrible. I'm not going to do that. But I got to say... This is kind of stunning. I don't toot my own horn that often. But so far... Two, two. 
Oh, this hot glue is giving me issues. But not for long. We got this. So loving it. I have one long drip of glue. Problem solved. I don't think that's a cop. I think that's someone else. in camera angle in frame I don't know if I want to get this one up Sometimes I swear I like the back even more than I like the front. Is that weird? Anyone else have that that's tried these freeform pieces? Can't be just me. Y'all, turns out that little thing did crack all the way through. Never mind my horrible fingernails right now. It looks like a big wing. They haven't seen it yet. But this definitely looks like a big feather on the sides up close. The thing is, it, it did end up cracking all the way through. I thought it was just a scratch and it is a crack. And typically I wouldn't care at all except for, you can't really see it on the front, but there's the guests are going to be signing it on the back. So it will be visible. It basically filled in. If I buff it a little bit, it probably won't be noticeable. The resin basically filled it all in. Let's see what I can do to patch that. Anyways. Oh, thank you, Miss Regina Ivy. I love this piece, and if I'll give them the option. Maybe I'll do another one as well. And if they prefer a different one, then that'll be just fine. Ooh. We'll see. So, 
on with the piece for tonight. So an excuse to keep it. Basically, maybe. I'm gonna give them the option. I'm gonna give them the option. I love the piece, so if they're like, hmm, then I will completely understand. And also I'll hang it um, on my wall. Yeah, Jasmine, I'm doing a layer over this one. It doesn't have the nicest complexion, and um, it's it got really like busy and blurry. See that? Not a fan. So here we go. I went ahead and mixed my resin. It is somewhere. It's right here. I'm using Art Coat. This is about eight ounces. I'm probably going to end up with some leftover, but I made a little extra just in case. It doesn't look like this is dipping at all, but you never know because resin, so I made a little bit extra. All right, the colors I'm using tonight are Snow White by Color Obsession, Bright Gold by Just Resin, the powder. Deep Turquoise by Color Passion. Blue Diamond, maybe, by Just Resin. And Bondi Blue by Color Obsession, the tint. So I wanna keep it mostly translucent or transparent because I wanna be able to see a little bit of this because I did put a lot of pigment into it. So this is gonna be the Bondi. I wanna have a little bit of effect with the white. Can have some deep turquoise in there as our selling agent. Slight bit of gold, not a lot, doesn't take much. And we'll do some blue diamond just for a little bit of sparkle. Cool, palette check. Yeah, sometimes you want to Just do a little something extra. Maybe you like the piece, but you think it's missing something. Or maybe you absolutely hate the piece and want to add something to it, but you put so much work in the first layer that you don't want to hide it completely. This would be the techniques to do that. Okay, so Blue Diamond by Just Resin. It is a, where are you? Here you are. It's a shimmery, turquoisey, aqua, tealy color. It's one of my favorites by Just Resin by far. It's awesome. I'll give you an up close of this. The over <laughs> Jeff Beckham. The overhead doesn't really do this color justice, so I'm gonna show you in this side cam. For some reason, the side cam picks up more of the green, and up here it looks a little bit more blue. Actually, it's very close to the actual color. Bar stools? Mm-hmm. So I always overload my powders. Why? Why? What you doing? What you doing? I just I was only gone for like ten minutes. Not even that. They are super gangster. Are you like eight minutes? Eight minutes. So I really overload my powders because I feel like they sometimes get diluted with the techniques that I use, but if you overload them, they tend to work a little bit better. Do not attempt that with acrylic paints. Don't, don't do that. 
They are a barking doorbell. The funny thing is that if someone actually kicked the door in or like snuck through a window and just showed up, they'd be like, what's up, do you have cheese? But if someone knocks, they're like, intruder, intruder alert. Also true. This is um, Deep Turquoise by Color Passion. It will be my selling agent. Agent. <gasps> B, this um, geode has, it did the thing on the back of it. Uh, because you did it and then it kind of pushed and you let it set or you just barely moved it. I just barely moved it. Yeah. But it looks amazing. How I got pink on my hands, where that came from, nobody can be sure. We can't. Something in this box that smells amazing. Help me. You're gonna have to help. You're gonna have to help me. We can't. They're at the gym. Here. Can you help me? And the main ingredient will be Bondi Blue by Color Obsession. Oh, that was easy for you. Thanks, Gaines. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Okay, this is Snow White by Color Obsession. You can find all of these colors on our website, artistsilldeath.com. That's funny, Lisa. Oh yeah, the Violet Pearl is really nice. Okay. I don't have a pipe over here, so I'm just gonna pour this ever so slightly and build the color. P.S. I love this color. dribbled a little bit. It's fine. Gina, it was a, a ganglion cyst. What? Ganglion cyst. What I had on my wrist for forever. Oh. But it went away on its own. Was it there for two years? It was there for a while. I was pretty sure I was growing like a unicorn horn out of my wrist. Anyways, so I have some clear left. I'm gonna grease the pan on my favorite areas, particularly. Hey, what do you mean by grease the pan? Oh, grease the pan means I'm putting color down so that my, nope, I'm putting clear down so that my color tinted resin will flow more easily across the surface. And especially when you're doing um, a second layer pour and you want to be able to see some of the first layer, you want to make sure that you have some clear in the areas that you want to be able to see. Because then, especially if you're using some opaques, you risk losing um, what you did on the first layer by adding the second layer. This also will create some depth by having a little bit of separation between um, this layer and the colored resin that I've mixed up. Um, it looks like I'm not gonna have enough to grease the entire surface, so I'm just making sure that I have it in the areas that I want to make sure show through, which is basically just the center areas because the outside is just a solid color.
I do this even if it's not a second layer pour, if it's just like a first layer, I do this as well just because resin's gonna grab and hold on to any like dry surface. And I really wanna give it like freedom of movement and motion, so this really helps with that. P.S. I think I killed my blower. You didn't. By not. To. I'm gonna have to dremel it. Need to what? That smells so good. All right. And you do what? Just wanted to make sure I heard the right stuff. Mm -hmm. So I really, really liked that um, leftover resin piece I did yesterday with the leftover resin. And I basically just added the color kind of like this, just half haphazardly. Half haphazardly. That's awesome, Daphne. Can't wait to see. Uh, I tried to order last night, but when I checked out, the only purple lip screen would pop up. Email E and J, but I didn't check to see if they responded. See, I didn't check email today, and I am super fine with reminder emails. The best way to get a hold of me is to shoot me a text, 214-402-9996. You'll get way faster responses. All right. If you wait too long to check out, and somebody else will check it out. It'll reset. It'll, it'll, it'll reset, but it'll, it'll take out a color that you might have in your card that you haven't bought yet that somebody else might buy and when they buy it it takes it off the stock right or not it's true i've had people email me very upset that all the things that they had in their cart that they just held um, got put back into just general population because our website won't hold your carts for long because if we sell out of something, it'll just bump everything out because it, it'll pull it out of inventory. So I hope you guys understand. That's just the nature of the business. Thank you, JJ. I know it looks like I'm covering up everything, but once I get everything moving a little bit, It'll look very much better and brighter. Very much better and brighter. Well, it looks like I'm just covering up everything from my first layer. But there's a lot of really Are you just now doing that first layer that you the one I left? Excuse me? Are you just now doing the first layer of that piece doing, that I left? I'm pouring on the piece. Hmm. I had to show them the the piece. The geode. I only do really thin lines of gold because that stuff will take over. All right. So I'm gonna add some heat. Do what, B? And then we're gonna blow it around, and then we're gonna super tilt, and it's gonna be amazing in theory. It's a theory that I have. It's like maybe you might have caught just, you might have caught resin like slacking off last night. It wasn't paying attention. May yeah. caught it on an off night. Yeah, and then tonight they're like, mm, I hear how you was bragging today. Okay, 
Oh, you want to brag about this? You think you know how I'm going to be? Like six beers and watch this. Because probably I think resin drinks like six beers at one time. All I think resin does drink six beers at a time. <gasps> So you can just use your face, but um, I can't reach my face over this far. So I'm using this. You can find it on our Amazon link. It's just a desktop blower. To like blow your keyboard free of dust particles and etc. I'm trying to be sure to blow the color over the dark turquoise because that's the selling agent. So I need that to be the base. Can't make it don't. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of heat and then we're gonna super tilt this beast. I already like it better than the first layer. I gotta be honest. I'm surprised I didn't get my hair in that. It's a very me thing to do to get my hair into the resin. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like on a side camera because it shows better colors. Looks a little erratic, but we're gonna super tilt. Why does everyone get quiet when the blower is going as if we can't hear ourselves type? That's funny. Right, Nene? I'm loving these colors too. Okay, let's get our tilt going. No, I guess this is not the best angle. There we go. This part up here seems to be moving faster than this down here, so I'm just gonna thin this out with a torch to get everything down here flowing a little bit faster. What happens when you use a torch to heat it up is it thins the resin, which in turn makes everything move faster. I'm 
Now that I have it tilted off that side, I'm going to pull it back. And doing that is gonna create a whole bunch of fine ghost cells right here. Remember I said that, because so, I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like in just a second. You may even already be able to see them pop up. What happens when you tilt it off just slightly like that is it grabs a hold of the side and then stretches the color. And it makes like an awesome like accordion looking bunch of cells. It's very unique. I'm going to wipe my hands off real quick and show you guys what that looks like. Because I don't want to get just mouse sticky unless he wants to come over here and run the mouse. B? Mm -hmm. I don't want to get your mouse sticky. What do you got to do? Just change the... <laughs> sticky! Check it out. This little kid playing Purple Rain his guitar. I wish this would focus. What do you want to do? Oh, I did it. Uh, you said you didn't want to get my thing sticky. I didn't get your thing sticky. That looks amazing. How fun that is. But you can't see the underneath. Can you see a little bit right there? <laughs> that looks amazing. How amazing is that? Like, wow. I'm trying to show them in the camera, but it's like, no. Nah. That looks good. How fun. I think I'm going to heat this part and blow it this way. I think you should just leave that. That is pretty amazing. Those cells look like just layers and layers and layers and like cavities of cells. We may have to do a true color video of this one because I don't think. Thank you, Evelyn. Hey Carol, what's up Gypsy? I hope your friend is okay, give him a hug for us. Wow, that's super fun. It's like a gnarly wave. I'm going to do a true color video. Let me turn my camera light on just to... No, oh, I can't turn the camera light on if that's on. I have to stay in back of the overhead light or else you won't be able to see it. Thank you, Holly. Nene, he loves the word gnarly. Thank you, Gypsy J. Okay, 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 I'll leave it. Evelyn, just tilt it off the side and pull it back. Let it just tilt. Let it go off the, off the edge and then tilt it back. <clears throat> Linda, I really do like Dark and Stormy. Tomorrow I'll use that one. I'm sorry you're still stuck in the hospital, Holly. I hope you feel better real, real, real soon. Take this one. Just 
to the dust free zone. That video's up and it's still like these teals there's so many different teals like I don't think the cameras like can pick them up that well <laughs> you look at the back of this it's a pretty huh, amazing yes amazing Oh wow. Mm -hmm. The swipe. That's gonna what have did to, it. I'm gonna have to do something with that crack there, but. Because they're signing the back of it. Do they want it to be. Um, are they gonna hang this? Are they gonna. What are they gonna do? Like, how are they gonna. This is. I know, I'll just have to hop you down. So, if I would have added more clear, or more transparent, you would have seen the underneath better. But, um... Just put, just put a, um... <clears throat> I would just continue that line. I would just continue a, like, come over here with crystals and hot glue, so then that way it'll... Dude, that would be amazing. Let me just put glitter glass because I know they said they wanted it to lay flat because that's where the guests are signing for their wedding. Well, they're going to have to put it on something for it to lay flat. I'm going to talk to them about it. So, Mickey, the colors I used were Blue Diamond by Just Resin, Bright Gold Powder by Just Resin, Color Obsession Snow White, Color Obsession Bondi Blue Tint, and Deep Turquoise by Color Passion. Probably Clara, but I don't know how to do that and like prevent the front from um messing up with the drips coming around the side. I don't know, when you come up here, we'll figure something out. I had a little bit of white left, so I thought I would do this. But I don't know how cute it's gonna look. I think I'm just getting my stir sticks more sticky. I hope you feel better, Holly. Lisa, it worked. Awesome. I'm glad you tried it. I just keep forgetting. Like, I just need someone to send me a random text and say, put your glue sticks in the freezer. Maybe will you do me the hugest favor and do the buy so I can eat something before Cujo loses his little brain? He's still sitting up there very unaware that I've completed the artwork. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
That was a short one, yeah? Uh, it was 47 minutes long, yeah. Not too bad. 62 people watching. 56 watching now. They were like, oh, right, it's bye. done? No. <laughs> Everybody knows when it's time to go. Thanks for joining us, y'all. Have an awesome Friday. Have an awesome, safe weekend. Um, we might go live early. Who knows? Depending on what she wants to do. Because we are going to Top Golf tomorrow. It's going to be like 77 degrees here tomorrow. My sister was supposed to come in town, so I made an arrangement to go to Top Golf. And they unfortunately are not gonna make it so i said she bailed right after fine. we made the reservation <laughs> still going with deposit <laughs> we're still gonna go so um happy birthday biggie jeff wants to i mean jj wants to see your projector oh it's right here it's right in front um ooh, babe you got sticky on there. I don't know how. Maybe it's just, I don't know. You get sticky everywhere, babe. Um, it's just right there. Um, I have a stand for it. This, I'm ha I have it on this box right now just to have it up, just to see how, where I want to have it over here on this desk. But um, we paid 200 bucks for that thing like regular like 240 something two something 240 and they gave 40 dollars off and then plus tax so i think we paid like 220 something i'm not sure anyways um it's a it's a good projector i mean it, it does what i want it to do it projects up good photos um you can watch a movie on it we can put this anywhere and watch a movie up to like 300 inches 300 inch screen it's audio is awesome. not the most amazing. The yeah, audio is not too hot, but you can hook up stuff to it. So um, I use that for my portraits uh, when I do the larger ones on the big canvas. Um, so read all these things. Check out our Instagram uh, page. Some of it has a lot of behind the scenes. Um, our ATD's poor group. It's predominantly resin, but every now and again we throw some artwork, some drawing, some painting. Um, art to Sell Death is about everything. It's about art, so you can put whatever you want as long as it has to do with art on our channel. So, um, You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with us. Be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. We'll see you sometime on Saturday. Bye. I said bye.